viewers, um, it's the Home Economic Show once again. This afternoon, we are at the University of Education Winneba at the Faculty of Home Economics Education. And we are here to talk to Mr. Aishen, who is the head of department for the Food and Nutrition Department. Say welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Our viewers would like you to introduce yourself. Uh, I am Mr. Agai Shen, Head of Department of Food and Nutrition Education Department of the University of Education, Winneba. Thank you, sir. So, sir, what is the Department of Food and Nutrition all about? Yeah, okay. So, Department of Food and Nutrition Education. Uh, our aim is to train competent teachers to go to the senior high schools and handle food and nutrition subject for our SHS students. Apart from that, uh, the program is said that our students can venture into other areas of employment, such as the private sector, uh, the civil service. Uh, there is the opportunity for them to join food processing companies. There is the opportunity for them to join food research institutions, such as the Ghana Standards Authority, the Food and Drugs Authority, the Food and Food Research Institute. There are a lot of opportunities available for our students. Yeah. Wow, lots of career opportunities for you if you study food and nutrition. Sir, please, um, aside from the career, what are some of the courses? What should students be looking forward to or potential um, students look forward to? Uh, some of the courses we have are uh, food microbiology, food preservation, um, we have family food management, um, we have uh, nut food uh, nutrition policies, we have um, uh, nutrition throughout the life cycle, we have food hygiene, food legislation, um, several courses, maybe as time goes on I'll be able to <laughs> remember yeah. this and then I'll be mentioning them here. Yeah. Wow. So these are various courses that students will be undertaking when they come to the Food and Nutrition um, Department at the Faculty of Home Economics Education at the University of Education whenever. Sir, please, do you have any advice? What will be your feedback? Because people will be still contemplating. What will you tell them? Why should they come and study Food and Nutrition? Are there, even though you've given us the career opportunities and the courses, but uh, what, 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 what will you tell them so that I will encourage them to come? Okay, so what I will say is that uh, the program has been designed in such a way that uh, you, are, you are not going to restrict you that, okay, when you finish, uh, especially if it comes to academic progression, that when you finish, you can only pursue only strictly home economics programs. You can venture into programs such as dietetics, such as nutrition. So you can start as a home economist, but in the end you can become a dietitian. You can start as a home economist and then you can become a nutritionist. You have an example currently in our department, Dr. Nana Ama in Japan. Yeah, for instance, she started as a home economist from the UCC, Food and Nutrition Option. But because of the kinds of courses that she did when she was there. She was able to enroll for MPhil, Nutrition and Dietetics at KNUST and then pursued PAD Nutrition Dietetics at KNUST and she is now a dietitian even though she started as a home economist. Yeah, so uh, the academic progression, you have varied uh, programs that one can pursue when you pursue food and nutrition in our in our department in addition to that uh, if even you graduate and then you get you don't get employment from the government the program is said that you can set up businesses on your own if you take a course like food microbiology and when i say food microbiology people should not be should not be scared like it's like uh, it depends on the course content you are giving to the students Ours is not going to take a microscope and then looking at which microorganisms are present in the food. But we are looking at using beneficial microorganisms to create food products. So, for instance, uh, in the production of yogurt, we have beneficial bacteria, which we call probiotic bacteria. They are good for our health. They are not bacteria that cause disease. Those bacteria are good for our health. They are intentionally put into the milk to 
convert the milk into yogurt. So we are using such microorganisms. We put them into food so that you change the food into other palatable products that you can consume. In the same way, to, so food microbiology, we, we are going to do things like yogurt preparation. So you take the yogurt culture, you add it to your milk, you let it be at the right temperature for a certain number of hours, you have a yogurt. The same way too, if you are preparing cheese, you have the microorganism, you add it to your milk at the right temperature, you'll be able to get your cheese. Uh, you also look at something like bread preparation because it's also microorganisms, the yeast that we are adding to, to, to produce the carbon dioxide. You look at bread preparation, you look at uh, production of vinegar. Vinegar, it's, it's a fermentation product from sugar, you can start with sugar to alcohol to acetic acid. The active ingredient in vinegar is acetic acid and you can start from sugar to alcohol and then eventually lead to the production of acetic acid which you use in the production of vinegar. Our students are able to, pro are able to prepare things like cakes, turnovers, we have entrepreneurship as a course. That students, after undertaking such a program, are able to, are able to give them ideas to, to, to set up their own businesses. So all these things that I've told. So for instance, yogurt is, is a big time business. Yogurt, for instance, is a big time. I have friends in Kumasi. That's solely what they are doing and they are, they are making it. So if you are able to learn such things, you'll be able to make even if government is not giving you employment yeah thank you so viewers that is in depth if you learn food and nutrition you have so many career opportunities if you learn it from the invention of education whenever aside from becoming a teacher you become an entrepreneur so if if you have the passion to learn how to produce different kinds of yogurt nutritious yogurt we encourage you to take an application form when the forms are open and then Apply to come to the Food and Nutrition Department at the form, Quality of Home Economics Education. So, Guy, thank you so much. Do you have any final words um, before we wrap up? Yeah, so I would say that uh, for those of you who want to come to the Department of Food and Nutrition Education, of the University of Education, to pursue BSc Food and Nutrition Education, um, the admission requirements is that uh, you must have done food and nutrition at the SHS. I know management is compulsory for all of you. And then in addition to these two subjects, you should have either chemistry or biology or economics. I know some of you do, some of you do GK. So food and nutrition and management in living, they are compulsory. Then we are expecting that in addition to these two relative subjects, you have uh, chemistry or biology or GK or French or economics. And then the minimum grade one should have, if it is the WASI, is C6 for the three electives that we are going to require, as well as three core subjects English language, core mathematics, and integrated science. Each of these subjects you should have a minimum of grade C6. If you are coming in with WASI, then these subjects that I mentioned, each of them should have a minimum grade of grade D, should have a minimum of grade D to get admission into the program. There are some of you, you may not have uh, the minimum requirement that I've talked about. So if you are 25 years and above, then you can come in as a mature candidate. So as a mature candidate, you must be 25 years uh, by 1st September of the academic year that you want to enroll on the program. And then what you do is that you apply as a mature kind and then you have entrance examination that you sit for. The first one is the general aptitude test, which is from the university itself. And then you have departmental uh, subject area test to that you organize. And we are expecting that when you pass, we can also give you admission. Then you have people to who have a higher national diploma. If you have a HND, in hotel catering and institutional management and you have uh, a minimum of second class lower, we can also give you admission and you start from level 200 of the program. Yeah. So viewers, that has been the academic credentials. 
feel that you will need to pursue food and nutrition at the department. So if you are in doubt now, I hope this has clarified. And we hope to see you in the next academic year. Thank you so much, Mr. Shen. Guy Shen. And we, we hope to come to you very soon. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, viewers. And it's bye-bye from us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share our channel, The Home Economics Show, on your various platforms. And we welcome your comments, questions, and suggestions. If you have any questions for Sega, don't feel shy. Just post it, and then we'll get to him to give us your feedback. Thank you so much, and see you again next week. Bye.